Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen for, uh, with Michelle from Lamer's Dairy. They are our milk sponsor of the show. We love our uh, their milk and comes in the, the glass bottles. For, so look for that at the store. Um, and boy, what a difference it makes, right? Oh, it does. I think it keeps the milk fresher and the taste is fresher. And our milk really, it's almost can't get much fresher because it really comes in every day and it's bottled the same day and leaves the cooler the same day. So it is super fresh, but the glass actually keeps it that extra bit fresh. And it looks cool, by the way. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so uh, we're talking breakfast on today's show, and Michelle's going to show us how to make one of her go-to coffee cakes that you could, it, you know, probably have most of the ingredients on hand, keep mm -hmm. some, you know, frozen fruit in your freezer. And uh, coffee cakes are one of those things that's on a Sunday, I'm maybe craving something sweet, don't really want to run out to the grocery store. Um, I love to make a nice coffee cake on a Sunday. And this is a really easy one, as I mentioned, and it's kind of a master recipe, and you can switch out the fruit. We're going to use frozen blueberries today. You can do frozen raspberries. Um, you could even mix it up with cr dried cranberries and nuts. Mm. Just, um, you know, anything. It's the, the batter is a basic master recipe. Yeah. All right. So put me to work here. All righty. The first thing we're going to do is we have a quarter cup of butter that's in there. It's a little bit softened. We're going to cream the butter and sugar together. Okay. And you do this by hand. You don't, you don't see any mixers here. I do. I like to. I'm kind of a tactile person. I like uh, the whole experience. I find baking very relaxing, so I enjoy that. If you did want to speed up the process, could you put this in a mix, you know, oh, use a sure. hand mixer to kind of cream that together? Absolutely. Certainly for the creaming section, when you start adding your um, flour ingredients and you don't want to then work it too much because okay. it toughens it. Okay. But this blueberry buckle recipe is a much requested recipe at my house. And actually, we go to South Haven, Michigan every summer for the National Blueberry Festival. And so I have a whole repertoire of blueberry items, and this is always a favorite. I think I make it every day yeah. when we go. When you're there, that's funny. Every day. Uh, now, a buckle, what, why is it called a buckle rather than just a straight up coffee cake? What is a buckle? Well, that's a good question, Amy, and <laughs> I'm going to have to go home and Google that because I just... That's what you've always called I've it. I've yeah. just always called it. I think it's, you know, an old-fashioned recipe. It's, I, it has more of a texture like a muffin oh, okay. than, a, you know, than a moist cake. But you stumped me. I'm going to have to do my homework a little bit better next time. Well, there's crisps, out. there's, you know, buckles, there's cobblers, there's, right. you know, all that whole type of thing. So so how are we doing here? Is that about what we're Good, looking for? That's great. And okay. you can add the, the egg and we'll... Uh, okay, one egg. And I like to use the farmer eggs. The, I try to use everything Wisconsin that I can and local. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Now we've got our dry ingredients over that's there. That's right. We have some flour and some salt and baking powder, and we'll mix that up separately. But actually, we're going to... Um, I'm sure okay, we, we've got an answer on the buckle thing because this is why Google is so... Oh. so we have Google. So a buckle is... Um, a, a, basically a, a dessert, or in this case, a coffee cake. Uh, it also it has fresh fruit in it, a rich cake, and then a crumb topping. So there, we go. there you go. We got there the answer go. to that. Thank you, Google, and our producer, Abby. Yeah, that's right. Nowhere Thanks of all. Abby. Okay. I want one of those in my ear all the time. That would be great. <laughs> okay. So then what we're going to do is actually the trick, and I know you know this trick, Amy, but your, your viewers may not, about how to prepare the fruit so it doesn't sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And basically, I'm going to take just about a quarter cup of the flour. I don't want to add extra flour because that'll get mixed in so that it's too much. But then right before, we're going to uh, put our blueberries in, oops, excuse me, in uh -huh. the flour so that we coat them so they don't sink. But in the meantime, we can also do our dry ingredients, just our flour and baking, baking powder. powder. And is this salt? salt? Yeah, okay. It's a and what I noticed right in a way is you're using frozen blueberries. You could certainly That's use right. fresh, but um, I've been told to try and kind of use them if you're using them in desserts at a frozen or semi-frozen state. Um, that when they bake, otherwise your dessert sometimes will turn purple if they let them thaw. And, and exactly. although that's yes. a pretty color. Uh, yeah. And that can happen, definitely. And that's why the little bit of the flour also kind of coats that. But you're right, the more you mix the berries into your batter, the more you're going to get purple. But it's actually pretty, so, <laughs> like you said. But this will keep the berries from sinking to the bottom. And these are the little wild blueberries, which are nice. Oh, they're, pretty. Yeah. they're a little bit smaller. But of course, in the summer, 
you know, when there were blueberries are around, use the fresh ones by all yes. means. Yes, oh, absolutely. And then we're going to, I'm going to pour some of our award-winning milk here, the Lamer's Dairy Milk. And we're actually, our milk is being found in more and more places now. We've actually get some distribution further up north in Wisconsin, so we're excited about that. So basically what we want to do is alternate adding the dry and the wet. Okay, all right. Then so mix that up. use my spatula that I have over here. Yeah, because this one's kind of purple. Yes. <laughs> Get but the this right is tool so for the easy. job. And okay. you can actually measure the, a lot of this out the night before, too, if you want. And I like to use the, our Lamer's Dairy Whole Milk because it just has, I don't know, a little bit more fat in it that I like. Okay. So more flour. Mm -hmm. And this, um, again, like the scones, we don't want to overmix it, That's right? That's right. It's not going to be like a real smooth batter. Right. Now tell everybody this trick, you're um, greasing the pan here. Sure. What I like to do is to um, grease the pan all around with butter. I okay. usually use butter. I'm not a big fan of the sprays personally, um, and it can actually have a detrimental effect on your coated, uh, your coated pans. So we have some butter. We've um, put some butter all inside of the pan. And then a trick that um, I learned is to line the bottom with parchment. So I just actually scope out a piece of paper that's pretty close and then cut it. You can actually trace around the bottom of your pan if you want and then drop it in, cut it a little bit. And then I actually butter on top of that. And what this does is it helps it release more easily from your pan and it really actually protects your nonstick cookware a little bit as well. Well, that's nice because you invest a lot in that. Yeah, so we can add our berries here and we might get a little bit of purple action going here, but that's okay. It's you almost had purple great. fingers, Amy. <laughs> I love blueberries. So, oh, and when we go to South Haven, we they grow wild. Mm. I mean, you can go to places, but you can also pick them right at the airport. They're oh, just how fun! I shouldn't tell. That's my secret place to go <laughs> pick the wild blueberries. And then we just want to turn that out, and you can see how loaded with fruit that is. Just delicious. Do you want me to hold that? Thank so you. Now out. we've got a crumb topping, and that's my favorite part of a, oh. you know, a pie or crisp. I love the instead of a crust or I just the, I'm all about the crumb mm -hmm. topping. So this is a real thick batter too. Michelle. It is. It is. It's like a muffin batter. It's. Oops, that's okay. I want to get every, every little, last yeah. good bit in there. So preheat the oven to about what temperature? Um, to 375. Okay. And this one you want to watch because if the the top, you don't want the top to get too dark, but you want to make sure the middle is done. Okay. So it's a little bit of a little bit of watching that goes on there as well. And then the crumb topping is, you know, a really easy one as well. You basically want to mix your sugar and flour and cinnamon. Okay. The cinnamon gives it a nice little touch. You kind of whisk that together and then... Um, There's a, probably a fork in there. Oh, yeah, there there we go. And then we're just going to add the butter and cut that in. And I don't know if we still have our pastry blender. We can just swipe. It's got a little bit of stuff on it, but that'll, that'll be fine. Or two forks or two knives. That's yeah. right. Or, in my case, my hands. There you go. <laughs> it's all going to work. Yeah, it'll be delicious. And it, again, this just will scent up your kitchen. Mm. It's just a really delicious, delicious recipe. My family will sit down and eat this in a, a sitting, <laughs> really. There's just three of us, and it's usually gone. It's always requested for family, you know, brunches. And, um, and it is, it, as uh, Abby said, it can, you can eat it for dessert as well. You mm. can eat it for breakfast or dessert. Oh. And oh, Okay, so we'll just, when we have that all together, we just want to sprinkle that on top and pop it in the oven and just keep an eye on it. And, and we want to show you how it turns out when it's done. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look at that. Nice big glass of milk. Michelle, thank you so much. Oh, it's my much. pleasure, the, Amy. Thank you for having you me. You bet. The blueberry buckle recipe, we'll put it on our website, and we'll be right back. So stay with us.